home. It should be an exciting experience for you, but for several families, it has really turned into a nightmare. Yeah, for months now in our Matter for Mallory segments, we have told you about how two builders left families in debt with unfinished homes. Well, tonight, WMAR2 News Aaron McPherson found out what these homeowners are doing to get justice. Many people impacted don't want to go on the record because of personal reasons or because of their job. And that's why the family that lives here is helping be their voice. Now, if you take a look at their home, it looks great. But they tell me they had to finish it themselves when the builders they were working with closed and didn't get the job done. It owes me $110,000, I would say. Thousands of dollars gone. That's what most of the people around this table have in common. They say they were ripped off by a builder, Corey Holmes. This, this issue is bigger than us. We need to get the laws changed so that way we can uh, hold these people accountable. That's why Kenneth and Nicole Suter held a meeting with these homeowners to talk directly with Harford County delegates about what they've been through to make sure consumers are protected in the future. Were there any other clues that you thought something was wrong? All three delegates working to find a solution. So it's it's been going on for a while, so I, it's definitely time to, to figure out where the problems are in the law um, and use the, the experts we have and, and figure out what bills need to be submitted next cycle to, to get it fixed. You know, the challenge of a lawmaker is to figure out how to keep the bad guys from hurting people without hindering the good builders. Their plan now is to reach out to the Attorney General's office and Maryland's Home Improvement Commission. We know now who we have to contact and how we have to like possibly even divide the bills, possibly into two. Um, one for new construction and one for home improvement. So. As these delegates work towards drafting bills for January, the suitor's legal case against Corey Holmes is moving forward. We're hoping that the, uh, uh, the, the Hartford County judicial system holds these folks accountable. So. The suitors have a hearing at the end of this month, and the judge ordered for Corey Smith with Corey Holmes to be at that hearing. Now, we have tried to reach him several times with no luck. Reporting live in Falston, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.